Hi, I'm Bryce with Liberty Homes. Today we're going to talk about how to winterize your sprinkler system. Now, in a lot of newer homes, you'll probably be able to find that they have eliminated what's called the stop and waste valve that's typically found outside in your yard, which would be a valve underground that you would need to use what's called a key, which is a long metal pole essentially that you're going to put down on the ground to reach that valve and shut it off. In this case, this could be configured in various different ways depending on how it's been put together. But what you're looking at when they put the shutoff valve inside of your basement is this is the main water supply coming in from the meter outside. And this is the main house shutoff valve. So I've just turned the house off. Any valve that's perpendicular to the water line would be off and any valve that's parallel to the line would be on. So this is for the house. And then at some point you're going to find a T, which should typically be before the main shutoff to your home. It'll T over for your sprinklers. So this house doesn't have a stop and waste valve outside because you can turn it off in the basement. Right now the sprinkler system is on. And if I turn this valve off, now my sprinkler system is shut off. Now whether you have to turn it off with the stop and waste valve outside or you need to shut it off here in your basement. In this case, because it's shut off in the basement, we need to get the water that's inside of this line from here underground up above grade where my stop and wait, excuse me, my backflow preventer is installed out of that line. There's water in there that's trapped because I just shut it off. And we need to get the water out of there. So the first you're gonna do is shut off the valve here. And then down below here is the drain valve, but don't drain it until you're able to go outside and open your backflow preventer. So let's head outside and I'll show you that valve. After you've shut off the valve in your basement to the sprinkler system, don't drain it yet, then you need to come outside to your backflow preventer is what this valve is called. Now these valves can be designed maybe a little bit different styles depending on who installed them or where you get yours from. But this specific style has four different ports on it right here on the top. So I'm gonna take a flathead screwdriver and I'm gonna turn each one of these whoop, until that pressure gets released. I'm just going to do a half turn on each one because we want to let the air inside of there so we can get it to drain and not freeze in the winter. So I'm going to turn each one of these. It might get sprayed. And then my fourth one is over here on the side. Okay, so now that all the ports are open, now we're going to be able to let the air inside of that line so it'll drain. And then, bef But before you drain it, last step, Open your manifold box where your sprinkler valves are, whether it's close to your backflow preventer or wherever it's at in your yard. And a little manual knob on top of each valve, you can turn and open them all the way. So that way each valve will be manually open to again help that water drain out of from the valves to this backflow preventer. And we're trying to get the water out of this valve out in the basement. At this point, go to your drain valve Take a big cup or a bucket or something and you're going to go down under that drain valve that I showed you in the first video and you'll want to just open that up and drain it until no more water comes out of your, of your line. And we're talking you know, maybe a big cup size and that shouldn't be a whole lot of water. Once all that water is out, then you'll be good to either leave each of your ports open on your backflow preventer all winter long. Some people like to close them, that's up to you. And then come springtime when you want to turn your system back on, then you're just going to make sure you close those ports if you've left them open. Manually close all of those valves inside of your manifold box where your sprinkler valves are. And then you can go down and turn your system back on. Let us know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.